Hi guys, welcome to my blog. So recently you may have received an email from YouTube with regards to upcoming tax changes to your YouTube earnings. So here's the email that I've received and in this video uh, I'm going to go through what the email is asking us to do, also what it means for us creators and what it is that we need to do as creators to comply with YouTube requirements. So all monetizing creators on YouTube, regardless of their location in the world, are required to provide tax information and complete the form in order for Google to comply with its obligation under the United States Internal Revenue Service regulations. So it's really important that you complete this form and submit it as soon as possible as Google may begin withholding US taxes on earning you generate from viewers in the USA as early as June 2021. If your tax information isn't provided by May 31st, 2021, Google may require to deduct up to 24% of your total earnings worldwide. So you can see it's very important that this form is completed and submitted on time. So let's go to my AdSense account and see what needs to be done. So this is the Google AdSense page. I'm going to just sign in and then we'll go through the form. So here we are. This is my AdSense account. And you can see here it says important. Check if additional tax information is required from you. All YouTube creators and partners are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable tax on your payments are accurate. And then you've got manage tax information. So we'll click on that. So here we are. So it's saying manage tax info and it says provide or update your tax information your pay payment profile and country determines how your tax are collected withheld and reported so united states tax information to get payouts from google make sure that you provide your tax information this will take only a few minutes okay let's add tax information here i'm going to click here okay i need to put my password in So it's asking uh, what type of account this is, individual or non-individual. We This account is individual. So I'm going to click on individual here and then click next. And then are you a citizen or resident of the United States? No, I'm not. So I'm going to click on that and go to next. And then it's asking, based on your previously selected answer, a W-8 form is needed. W-8-B-E-N. This form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. Okay, and this form is most commonly used by US. Okay, so we don't, we're not a business, we're individuals. So we're going to click on this one, which is W-8-B-E-N. This form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. So I'm going to click on this, but just before we go to the next stage, um, I think the tax treaty is uh, quite important um, to remember. Uh, it's a benefit. So if your country and United States have an income tax treaty in place, the tax tool in AdSense will automatically identify that. Uh, detailed um, and uh, basically when you submit it so um, it's important you select that so if your country has a tax treaty in place you'll benefit from that uh, when you uh, do do the tax return and so then we'll start the form by clicking on this start button here okay so the next bit is about yourself this is the tax identity uh, page so make sure that this information is exactly same as on your tax document and that this form is signed by an authorized representative of this legal of this legal entity okay so make sure the name you have uh, is your name and not your channel name and it should be your legal name or the name that's on your tax document of your country so uh, here in the UK 
um, whatever name we have on our payslip or our tax documents or those of you who may have a national insurance number that card should have your legal name or the name that's on your tax return or tax documents basically uh, should be here and um, this bit here we disregard because we're not a business country of citizenship is okay we're united kingdom so let's go all the way down and select united kingdom there we are okay and here foreign t-i-n is stands for taxpayers identification number for us in the uk would be the national insurance number for you um, in your country, whichever number is for, uh, that is on your um, tax return or tax form, that's the number you put in. So I'll add in my TIN number here, which is for UK is the national insurance number. And also remember the um, National insurance number or the TIN number will actually identify, help them identify the country and the treaty you fall under. So um, the discount you may get from your country's uh, treaty uh, will be identified through this. Otherwise, you'll get taxed at the default rate of 30%. So anyway, let's fill in the um, number here. And go for next click on next so this is the address detail permanent residence address um, permanent resident address is a PO box or in care of address you will be required to submit additional documents. okay so this box we're not going to take because uh, our address is permanent address and it's not a PO box however if yours is a PO box then you will need to select this if not then don't select it Okay, let's fill in the next bit. So I've completed the address, filled in the four for the address. And here it's asking postal address is same as the permanent residency, which is yes. So I'm going to tick this and then go to the next page. So next we've come to the tax treaty page. Uh, this is the bit I was explaining earlier. Um, most countries will have a tax treaty in place with USA so under that tax treaty we can claim discount so we will go for yes um, you're claiming the discount that's in place with your country and United States so we're going to tick here because we're going to be claiming it and find the country we're claiming from so I'm claiming from United Kingdom and whichever country you reside in that's the country you select and then let's look at the next bit so next here we have special rates and conditions you may be exempt or have tax withheld at a reduced rate on certain income types and within the US these reduced rates and exemptions vary among countries and seeking income type. Okay, please select all that apply to you. You can claim any future income type that you may plan to earn from Google products. Okay, so let's select the first one, AdSense, Service AdSense. Okay, and article and paragraph. Okay, we're going to select what's available there and um rate we're gonna we're not we're gonna ignore the default and go with the not percent reduce rate and reason because we meet yep you have to as a tax resident of the country identified in the tax identity section the individual identify identified in the tax identity section uh, meets the required terms and treaty okay so this has to be ticked because you're agree agreeing to their terms and conditions and then let's go to the next one, Motion Picture and TV, which is YouTube and Google Play. Again, I'm going to select the article 12 and paragraph 1. And I'm going to go for 0% reduce rate. And again, it comes, it says the same thing about um, taking the terms and condition which you agree to. And 
the final box which is other copyright YouTube Google Play take this one again I'm going to select article 12 paragraph 1 the only option there and reduce rate at not percent and finally click the terms and condition which you have to take in order to go to the next page okay so that's completed we're going to click next so let's click next oh just before we move on i just quickly want to explain this so where i was mentioning earlier about the um, national insurance number in the tax treaty when you put in your tin number taxpayer's identification number which is uk national insurance number the um, ad sensor can automatically identify which country and which article you require so you will see it's identified we are in the united kingdom and it's under article 7 and paragraph 1 that we are entitled to this reduce rate will go for not percent this is a default if you didn't go for the treaty you'd be charged at 30 percent but because we've ticked the treaty we can now select the reduce rate of not percent so next okay so here we have all the personal information and uh, your tax treaty selections and then you can review your documents here so all the blue documents you see here are the ones that you've completed you can always go back and select it should you need to change anything you can see you have a preview here and then here it says i confirm that i have reviewed the gen generated tax document to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true correct and complete okay so here you're s literally signing and saying you are giving the correct information to best of your knowledge and select next so next we come to the certification so this is the bit really um quite important is literally summarizing everything you filled in and saying under penal penalties of perjury <laughs> so you're literally declaring that everything you filled in is literally uh, true and uh, you've completed to the best of your knowledge and belief um, and is correct um, and you're further certifying under the penalties of perjury uh, that basically you've got all these points here which is quite in depth um it's basically making making sure the four forms that you filled in above are um true and um you've given all the correct information um not only uh, for the tax but also the country you're claiming the treaty for and so forth um so, uh, it's actually worded uh, with really complex word and it's quite hard to understand but it's literally uh, uh, telling you you have a legal obligation to give the correct information or you can have penalties for that anyway so um what does it say here okay so here it says furthermore i authorize this form to be provided to any withholding agent that has controlled receipt or custody of the income of which i am the beneficial owner or any withholding agent that can disperse or make payment of the income of which i am the beneficial owner okay i think that's saying basically they're going to share your information which mean um for someone like myself um who has self-employment status uh, I do my own tax return so I'll have to make sure I include all my YouTube income in my own tax return in this country as well because in the UK as well because the information can be shared um, with other agencies as well I think that's what he's saying anyway so here we're going to fill in the full legal name again because this is like the bit where you're signing the whole document off so here it's asking are you the person listed in the signature section so yes i am but if you do get someone else to fill this form in they'll probably will have to take that one but then i'm going to click on next so here number six activities and services performed in us okay activities in us has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section performed any activity or services for google within the usa no okay we haven't done in usa okay okay so you're here you're certifying that all the services are outside of a usa so tick here status change okay are you providing tax info for new or existing okay i am providing tax info for new or existing payment profile that hasn't received a payment okay i am providing tax info for an existing 
payment profile that has previously received payments okay i have received payments so i'm going to select this okay. so in this box they're saying under penalties of perjury i declare that the information and certification contained herein remain the same and unchanged okay so you're basically certifying all the information is uh, true and still the same uh provided below okay and it's true and correct and any changes to detail them below okay so we'll take that and then no changes so I'm not going to put anything there and then submit so here we are the form has been submitted so you can see from the status approved um, here you can see uh, the claims under the treaty what has been claimed and here all the personal details and if you feel there's a mistake or you want to change something you can always resubmit a new form by clicking here other than that it's complete so this is my form completed uh, I hope that process that I went through helps you um, complete your form or you can use it as a guide and now that that's complete I can now dismiss this notification and it's done so I hope this was helpful guys uh, if you do have any question please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you here is the email confirmation that I have received from Google to confirm that my tax information has been approved. I hope this has really helped you or help guide you to complete your form. And thank you for watching. Please do like, uh, comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Until next time, do take care. Bye bye.